The following interview was conducted with Mary Gibbs, alumna of Purdue University, class of 1964, former Purdue Library faculty member in the Consumer and Family Sciences Library for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Thursday, <clears throat> September 3rd, 2009 in Stewart in Center, uh, the Dean's Conference Room. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Library. Welcome, Mary, and it's morning out there, so I'll say good morning and good afternoon. This, she good lives afternoon. on the Pacific Coast. <laughs> okay, tell us a little about where you were born and your parents and siblings in early years. Well, I was born in Lafayette, Indiana. Should I say the year? If you wish, that's up to you. I'll, I'll leave it. I leave it up to the interviewee. You don't have to. Just you can want to give us the month, but that's okay. September. Okay, September. Okay. Uh, I'll say September 1942. Sounds good. Okay. And uh, any siblings? Yes, I was the oldest of five. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, then tell us a little about grade school and high school. Well, my most uh, important thing in grade school was I learned to play the violin, and I was in some little grade school orchestras, and I kept up my violin playing through junior high and high school. Okay. Where did you go to junior high, Mary? At Sunnyside Junior High. Okay, okay. And then did you go to, uh, was high school next, was it Jeff? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us, were you in any clubs or uh, any activities that you'd like to share with us on when you were in high school? Did no. Did you continue on with your music? Uh, I did. Okay. In the orchestra. Okay. At, at Jeff? Yes, at Super. Jeff. Oh, that's nice. Hey, do you, how, how about today? Are you still keeping up with it? No, you know, <laughs> I got one of those, uh, let me see, electric keyboard. Okay. And I thought... Oh, well, I can play this, but when I started, I just couldn't remember the notes. <laughs> so I thought it would be like a bicycle, you know, once you can do it, you, you never can always, forget. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, then, uh, after you graduated from high school, was, uh, um, was college next? Yes, I okay. went back to Purdue. Okay. Tell, now, did you live, tell us a little bit about that, campus life, and did you live, you know, on campus, or did you commute back and forth? No, I didn't have a chance to live on campus, so I had to commute back and forth. Okay, all right. And what uh, courses did you take? Well, I was in the School of Home Economics, and my major was Child Development. Okay, okay. Would that have been, were your classes in uh, Stone Hall? Yes, they okay. were. Were the cafeterias? Yes. Yeah. In the John Purdue room? Mm hmm Okay. Were, did you join any uh, clubs while you were here at uh, Purdue? Well... Omicron Nu is the only one that okay. I joined. Is that a an, honor, an honorary group or? Yes, okay. it is. Okay, all righty. Did how about did you ever go to any of the uh, either basketball or football games or anything like that? Well, I think I was not much of a sports fan then. No. Okay, but now you've changed a little bit, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all righty. Now, after you graduated, was that uh, 1964? Would that have been? Uh, when you graduated from Purdue? Yes. And then was the commencement uh, in, in Elliott Hall of Music? It was. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that's probably, was that in the spring? Yes, it was. Okay. They now have, um, we have three commencements now. We have one in the spring, which is always the biggest. Then we have one in August, which is just one session. And then we have uh, a December one as well. The December one is usually the Sunday after finals because finals ends on a Saturday night and then commencement, there's usually two sessions in December. But the students get a blank diploma because the grades ha don't have to be in until a couple of days after that, so then they send that to them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's made it kind of nice so they have it, you know, three times a year, which yeah. the students really appreciate. Yeah. And I believe we had only the one, probably. one session. Yeah, yeah, but now they have these, and, and it works out really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now after you graduated, you can tell us what, what came next. Well, then I went to work at the nursery school in Indianapolis, Indiana, okay. and I was there for about a year, and I decided that really wasn't what I wanted to do, okay. so I came back home. Lafayette and uh, before I graduated I had received a letter I believe from Mr. Dowden who had offered me information about a library science program that was being offered 
So when I came back home, I contacted Mr. Dowden to see if the program was still available, and he said, yes, it was. So I started in the library science program. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, that program, Mary? Because well, you, you were one of a few people that uh, were still around that, that uh, were graduates of that program. Yes. It was a joint library program with the libraries and Indiana University Graduate Library School. Mr. Moriarty, who was a university librarian at the time, wanted to get more people into librarianship, so he developed this program. And I worked in the libraries, mainly in the social sciences department. Okay. And I also had experience in the order department, verifying faculty book orders, and I had a chance to work with the map collection and also the documents from, uh, government documents from the state and from uh, U.S. government documents. Okay. Did you, uh, Mary, did you, were you here like one semester and then would you be in Bloomington or how did, how did that work? Of course, today it probably would have been online, but at that, those days they didn't have, you know, online courses. No, I worked in the library and okay. then I went two summers and one spring semester down to the campus. Okay. Now, was, uh, for the uh, tuition and things of that, did the library pay for the tuition? Yes, they did. Okay, okay. And that did that include housing while you were down there for the one semester? Yes, it did. Super. And also I was paid my salary while I was down there. Very good. Okay. But then when you'd come back, they evidently rotated you through several departments in the library. So that you yes. got ex is that how it worked? Yes. Okay. When when you were uh, with that program, was there anybody else in the library at the same time that was getting their degree this, in the same way that you were? Yes, they were, but I think they were not on the Purdue campus. I think one person might have been at IUPUI okay. in his right. program. Okay, okay, okay. Was Bill Correy here when you, when you were here, Mary? Yes, he okay. was. Okay, and I think I mentioned to you before we started that he also received his degree that way as well. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Then now, after you got your degree, then what came next? It, it took you, what, about two, what, two years, would you say? Is that? About three years. Or did it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after you got your degree, um, you continued on with the Purdue Libraries. Yes, I did. Okay. From 68 to 72, I, I worked in the general library in the social sciences department. Okay. And my duties were mainly reference work. Okay. For the students and right. faculty. Okay, okay. Um, you remember the big card catalog that used to be on the second floor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and somebody, you know, we used to put the cards in there, the card prep, and then someone would come and check and be sure the the, the cards were okay, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having done that, I remember. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then after, well, then, then let's talk a little bit about, then you went over to the Consumer and Family Sciences. Yeah. And how did that come about? Did Miss did someone uh, talk to you about it? They didn't have a librarian over there at that time. They didn't, and I was appointed to be the librarian there. Super. Okay, that's kind of a nice treat then. In yes. uh, Stone Hall was up on the second floor. It was. Right. Yes. Okay. And then then did you get did you had to um, what hire some students to help out and tell us a little about what the duties were over there. Well, I did library reference again, okay. and I taught the students about how to use the library resources that were there, and I supervised one library assistant and about four student assistants okay. to work at the reserve desk and so on. Okay. Now, since you were born in Lafayette, were you still, did you live at home or did you live, uh, you know, in an apartment on camp or near school? I lived in an apartment. Oh, did you? Okay. Now, the library assistant, do you, uh, that, so that made a difference, that helped a little bit then with the students because the hours are, you had evening hours as well over there, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. But it's nice to have been in that building because the eating facilities are right downstairs. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, were, did you serve, um, were there any um, library committees, do you recall, that you served on when you were here? You no, know, 
I was thinking about that, and I can't remember. What about, uh, didn't they used to have reader service or, or reader service? Mr. Dowden uh, had a committee, something like public service or reader service, something like that? Because he handled the departmental libraries, didn't he, Keith Dowden? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you have reported to him? Did the school librarians probably report to him? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I, I, you know, having reference, I, re I just recall, I thought there was a unit. Those those names have changed so much over time that I sort of pulling it out of the retards of my mind. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. And then the directors, did, um, make any comment? Mr. Murieri was the director when you came, and then he was succeeded by Mr. Dagnese. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you got to know both of them? Yes. Mr. Murieri probably... Because he retired shortly after maybe, what, 69 or something like that, I think, mm -hmm. as I recall, that he retired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, I guess, the next thing that, that I would uh, ask you is about post-Purdue. Well, I moved to, I was at Purdue until 1981. Okay. And then I left, and I came to San Francisco, and I got a job with San Francisco Public Library. Okay. What? And I... Go ahead. Okay. What, go ahead. What department did, where did you work in? Well, first I worked in what they call the old main library in the history department. And then, again, I was in reference services. Okay. And then I left the um, general library and went to the park branch library and the Chinatown branch library. There are about 27 branch libraries oh in my San gosh. Francisco. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Quite a few yeah. for such a small place. but And they're spread the, out probably, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're all over the city. Sure. And the patrons really love their branch libraries. I bet when they. Everyone, everyone is uh, destined for closing, there's always a big outrage in the neighborhood groups because okay. they really support them. Okay, that's super. Did you, um, what were your duties there? Did you supervise some people there? Now, you had said you had two libraries. Did you have to go back and forth between the two of them? No, oh. I was there for about five years okay. at one and five years at another. Okay, okay. So you sort of got, got some experience in both then? Yeah. Right, okay. Then uh, did you stay in both of those libraries most of the time that you were out there, that you were there? with the yes. system? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how about uh, ALA? Did you, were you able to attend some of the ALA? Did you still belong to ALA? No, I'm not, but uh, the reason I found the job in the uh, public libraries uh -huh. here was I did go to ALA, and one of the librarians was handing out applications, and the jobs are civil service out here, so oh, okay. you have to take the applications and then you get on a list, okay. and they go down the list, and they pick the ones with the highest uh, scores. Okay. How was the test? Not too bad? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad. And, <laughs> and my good experience at Purdue helped me a lot. Super. Oh, that's nice. So you stayed with them the whole time? Right. Did you? Yes, I oh. was there about 19 years. Okay. All righty. And then I guess the next thing I was going to ask, um, how about retirement activities? You I, you did tell me on the phone that you are retired. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. In 81, I retired. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, 2001. Okay. I yeah, retired. that's our big year, right, 2001. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. 81 is when you left here. That's nice. What sort of um, things have you been doing since you retired? I've been volunteering at an elementary school. In, in their in their library or yes in the library and also in two classes oh, first good. grade class and third grade class oh how nice yeah that, that that's very that's very nice you stay all day then when you go there to the schools I spend about three hours a day in each class okay. and then uh, four hours in the library so I'm there about 10 hours a week okay. on different days yeah that sounds nice okay um, have you done any travel at all since uh, in any of your vacations or anything or in, how about some hobbies and uh, your special interest that you'd like to share with us well I am a big baseball ball fan okay. and I have gone on some baseball trips to visit uh, different parks and see the new parks 
I don't know if you know about Elder Hostel. I've heard about I know that uh, Barbara and John Pinsalek took quite a few of those trips. Yes. And they enjoyed them immensely. And I know yes. some other retirees from the university that have taken them, too. Mm-hmm. Yes, I enjoyed those. I went to one baseball p- uh, park with them. And my team is the Chicago Cubs, who aren't doing too well <laughs> this year. They have a lot of peaks and valleys, don't they? Yes, There's quite they a few do. people in the in this community who support the Cubs. Yeah. <laughs> and every season they're hopeful, right? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. How about any uh, any particular other hobby that you have that you'd like to share with us that you uh, are involved in at all or just so the trips and the baseball. You listen to that and watch it on the TV, I imagine. Yes, I do. Right. Okay. Have you ever done any traveling say to to uh, Oregon or Washington? since you've been out there along the coast at all or not? I have. I went to Hawaii since we were so close there. Sure. And then I went to Oregon. I love train travel, so I took the train up to Portland. Ooh, that was nice. a nice trip. That's right, yeah. And, that, and Portland is a nice city. It is. Yeah. Well, that that's kind of relaxing, and you can really see the, the landscape when you're, you know, on the train. I, I, yes. I come from a train, too, but there's not too many around here. <laughs> Um, any um, anything else that you'd like to share with us, Mary? I'm going to leave it to you. What any comments or things that you'd like to share? Do you, you plan to you know, ever think of a visit back to uh, Lafayette? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, right? But you never know, right? No, right, what, right. You can't say never, so because sometimes home oh, something might. Who knows? The train might just drop you off at Chicago, and you get on the bus and come here. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, any any um, thing further that you, any additional comments and or any topics that, that I didn't mention that you'd like to talk about, or I'll leave it up to you. Well, I think you've covered it pretty well. I don't think of anything okay. that I can add. Okay. All righty, Mary. I want to thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to interview you. I really, really appreciate it. And, oh, well, thank you. And I know we'll keep in touch now that I have your address. You're definitely on my mailing and uh, birthday for next year since Karen told me it was September 1, and I won't forget. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mary, and we'll keep in touch. Okay. Right. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.